solving this problem, we want to find the average value of a function for the given interval. Because this has an absolute value sign, we're, actually, we're going to have to break it down into two parts. So starting off here, just getting setting up the equation. So it's going to be 1 over negative, or not negative 3, um, 1 over 2 minus negative 3, which is going to be equal to 1 over 5 for our component over here. And breaking this down, the integral is going to be, uh, well, it's negative 3 to 2 for x plus absolute value of x, but to account for the absolute value, it's going to have to be broken down into um, negative 3 to 0. And it's going to be negative x plus x. Um, because what happens here is this accounts for the fact that th this, um, well, pretty much cancels itself out in a way. Um, it's going to look something like this. It's going to have a slope of like 2x and then 0 over here, I think. Um, all right, so plus, and this is, well, excuse me, dx, and then plus 0 to 2, and then 2x dx. Yeah, because it's just a slope of 2. So this pretty much cancels itself out, and we're left with just one fifth, um, and we're integrating this, and this just becomes um, x squared over two, but it cancels out the two here coefficient, so it's just x squared, and it's from zero to two. So what we end up with is one fifth of two squared, which is four, minus zero squared, which is zero, and we ultimately get four over five. And this is our average value for the function from negative 3 to 2. All right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.